So this is where I normally keep all my hardwoods, all my hardwood scraps from the Trash or Treasure videos. Uh, I've taken them all out and I've started to sort them on my bench. I've got a whole crap load of poplar, a lot more maple than what I thought, uh, red oak and white oak. I thought I actually had the most of this and it turns out I have uh, very little of it. And then some very beautiful walnut. Um, this is all scraps from the Trash to, trash to Treasure videos. And now that I have a jig to start working with them, I'm going to start cutting them up and making a bunch of stuff. Um, I figure, why not? You know, this stuff is growing faster than I can cut it up, so I'm going to take it all out, lay it all out, and try and get as much use, as it, at, use out of it as I can. So, not sure what I'm going to make. Maybe some salt and pepper shakers, maybe some uh, trivets, um, you know. I don't know, but we'll figure that out as we go, and uh, I've got all kinds of stuff. These are all cutoffs from boards as I was making the uh, cutting boards, and they're quite long, so there's plenty of good veneering material for salt and pepper shakers, maybe. Um, just a lot of different stuff, a lot of different color combinations I can come up with, so I don't know. Here goes nothing. Alright, so I've just randomly selected some boards, some colors, some species, whatever. I've got a couple maple, some red oak, uh, some poplar. Some of this stuff is kind of thick, so I can hopefully resaw most of these into two pieces. And if you can't tell already, what I'm going to make is a bunch of trivets. So, randomly selecting some wood, chopping it up to a specific size. And these are for some smaller pots. I'm going to take some of the larger stock, the longer stock, and make some, you know, some larger ones. I think these are going to be about six inches. I think I'm going to go with an eight inch piece uh, for the bigger pieces. But anyway, now that I've got them all to uniform length, I'm going to use my mini uh, jointing jig, I guess you could say, and get them all down nice and square and into uniform size. Once I have them down that small, uh, I'm going to use my, let's see, it's in the windowsill over there, my uh, curve maker I just made. So I made those out of trash, I made this out of trash, and all that came from trash, and hopefully will be made out of, or made into something useful. Alright, so 42 pieces and uh, 84 cuts later, this little, uh, this little jig has paid for itself already. Uh, so anyway, the bottom face and the right face are perfectly flat and they are 90 degrees from each other. I've tried my best to rotate everything in the same orientation every single time. So now it's just milling it all down on the table saw to uh, an appropriate width and height for joining them all together. So I got them all cut. Uh, my final measurement is 11 16ths by 11 16ths. Some of the wider boards yield two, yielded two pieces. So uh, this was actually, the entire setup here was actually one trivet I had originally marked out. And there you go, there's six. So there's two of them. And same with some of that white poplar. 
and another piece of green yielded too. And I just made my kerf maker and to save some time with all these dados, each piece is going to get three dados and I've got, well I've got a lot of pieces. So to save some time, I took my scrap uh, kerf maker and I recut my kerf to the half inch thickness of my dado stack. Uh, so far the widest I've gone with this insert is half inch so just chucked up half inch again and um, my squared thickness of, the, of my stock is 11 sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to make a lot of dados and they're going to be slightly less than half the thickness of the material and that way once I have once I have my three pieces and then the three pieces on top like so they're not going to be perfectly flat as far as these these surfaces versus these surfaces there will be just a slight bit of a difference and uh, once I'm done with that I'm going to go around all the sides and probably put a 30 degree chamfer on everything so uh, we'll see how this goes Just like my uh, zero dollar tapering jig or joining jig has already paid for itself, so has this little guy. That uh, starting to look like Lincoln logs. Those are some, uh, th that, that's a lot of dados. That's just a lot of dados. Uh, for the center section, each one of these is going to be a, is going to be three like so, and then three like so. So for the center section, um, just to get it perfect. I'm not going to use the kerf maker. I'm just going to use a stop block and remove about half of it and then flip it around and remove the other half. I gotta do a couple test fits or a, t a couple of uh, test passes to make sure I get the right fit but uh, I can start to see the finish line. This is a lot of sawdust. Fifty six pieces uh, times three dados, that's a hundred and sixty eight dados times two, let's see, that's three hundred and thirty six movements past the saw blade. So it's late and I'm hungry, calling it a night. <laughs>